Scouts. It's so great to see you all. And we're so excited that you're joining us for an Inspiring Futures today. So I am Katie Hurstein, and I'm the Program Manager and Events Manager at Girl Scouts of Colorado. And in my job, I get to be pretty lucky because I'm the one at Girl Scouts of Colorado that gets to host this virtual series where we introduce our Girl Scouts to accomplished women in a variety of professions. So you can begin to get inspired about what your own future might be like. So, and at, uh, we have a perfect partner that is working with us to bring this series to, to you, College Invest. So College Invest is a Colorado college savings program and makes it easy to save for your education after high school. So that's just a fancy way of saying that they exist just for one reason, to help you and your families put away money to save for your own inspired future. So, and I started a college invest account uh, or savings plan for both my girls when we moved to Colorado 10 years ago. And now I have a daughter going off to college next year. So I'm very glad that we did. Um, and it's kind of like a piggy bank, but even better because your parents or your caregivers or grandparents, uh, they can put your into your college invest plan and it grows tax free. So, and it's used for your education ex expenses past high school. So your money grows even further and it can be used to send you to college just about anywhere across the country or a trade school or even apprenticeship program that gives you real work experience. So um, we're now gonna hear a quick message from College Invest CEO um, about what they hope to get, um, that you get out of today's session. So let's hear from her. Hi, I'm Angela Beyer, CEO of College Invest, and welcome to this episode of Inspiring Features. Open the curtains. In Girl Scouts, you've learned that if you can dream it, you can do it. And here at College Invest, Colorado's Education Savings Program, we help you get there. And you're never too young to begin to imagine your inspired future. So how will you impact this world? Will you run your own business, invent a new technology, or maybe even discover a life-saving cure? But wherever your inspiration takes you, a College of Best Savings Plan can help make your dreams a reality. Now, prepare to be inspired. So, thank you for that message. Um, and I just wanted to do a few housekeeping items before we get started. So uh, we are recording this session. Um, and so when we post it to YouTube, um, we won't be seeing your faces on the recording. So we're just gonna be focused on the speaker, but we would love to see all your faces now. And we're gonna be talking about toys. We would love to see your toys and your ideas. Um, so turn on your cameras and um, we would love to talk to you. Um, Cause what's inspiring for us is to see you. So, um, and we'll also have some time to talk to our presenter and ask some questions. So you can raise your hand or you can unmute and ask your questions, you know, whatever works best for you. So now we're gonna move on, you know, before we start our meetings, we do the Girl Scout Promise and Law. So if you'd like to join me, you can unmute or you can um, just do it yourself at home. So ready, the Girl Scout Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout Awesome! And the Girl Scout Promise. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considered and caring, courageous and strong, responsible to what I say and do. And to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Awesome. And next, I am going to introduce our guest for today. So Joanna Paul, she's actually a personal friend of mine, so I'm very honored to know her. And she is a mom, a toy creator, an entrepreneur whose passion to create a toy that would come to life for kids came from watching her own kids play. She brainstormed, shared her idea with friends and family to get feedback, and pitched her idea to get it made. And the result, a plush toy that comes as, as a stuffed dog, bear, or cat, each with six facial expressions called what's its face. 
So I'm going to pass it over to Joanna and I have a few other people to admit into the room and we'll get started. Hi there. Can you, can you, can everyone hear me? Great. Hi everyone. I'm Joanna Paul and I am the inventor of a toy called What's It's Face with a simple turn of a knob and a flip of a two-sided face, this toy has six different facial features. This is amused, he's laughing. This is sleeping. But here, oh wait, sorry, turning it off. <laughs> this is surprise. This is angry. This is sad. And this is happy. I just want to share my screen so I can just show you a few more things here. So when I invented what's its space, when I came up with the idea, my, hold on here, I'm trying to turn this. It's not letting me, Katie. <laughs> My kids were very little. Sorry. I'm trying to turn this page and it won't let me. Anyway, I'll keep talking. When I invented my toy, uh, my children were very little. They were uh, almost in kindergarten and one was um, two years old. And um, I was very inspired by how passionate they were and their imagination just really made me happy. And I really wanted to create something that would make their play experience even more interesting. Hold on here. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I'm gonna close these windows. So these are my kids when I started the project. Now the one in the bunny rabbit uh, diaper is actually going to co uh, college in a couple of years. <laughs> And my little boy is now 11. So um, I wanted, like I said, I wanted to uh, design a toy that could sort of show their emotions back to the kids when they were playing a certain scenario. If one was sad, one was surprised, um, they could actually show those faces. And so I, I just had a lot of fun with that. I really wanted the toy to come to life. <laughs> and here you can see all the, the six different faces. I just put them all next to each other. And now there are so many kids all over the world that are playing with the toy that I've never met. So I'm very excited that everything went very well. So, um, so we're going to talk about <clears throat> designing toys today and coming up with some good ideas. Um, so some things you, you can think about when you are developing toy ideas is, <clears throat> is there a toy that can solve a problem? A lot of moms have a problem of their, their kids being very bored or <laughs> playing on the screen too much. So maybe there's a way to, and to, uh, develop a toy that doesn't involve a screen and something that they could play with for hours. Um, is it an educational toy, emotional toy? Um, think of something unique that you've never seen out in the store before. Um, something that you can collect perhaps. I don't know if you, go, you girls collect. I think what's really uh, popular nowadays is Squishmallows, those very squishy toys. Um, <clears throat> Also very popular now are fidget toys that people can just play with at their desk. If they're, if they need to focus on something, they, they. And pop it. Yes, absolutely. Pop it. Yeah. Um, people love to be challenged. So there are, you know, fun board games, card games, sports games. Um, there are a lot of game that games and toys based on famous characters and stories from movies. And um, my personal favorite is our toys or games that encourage creativity, perhaps a craft, um, something like that. So, so my favorite way to develop toys is called toy math. 
And I promise you, this is not hard math or boring math. <laughs> um, this is what a lot of uh, toy designers use. It's very, it's very, uh, it's a very quick way <laughs> to come up with a lot of ideas. So the first thing we're going to talk about is called a play pattern. So in the in the toy industry, a play pattern means how you play with a toy. It's very simple. Um, do you guys, I can't see your faces, but can you guys shout out some of your favorite toys that you have now that everything my favorite answer is everything for sure everything everything Okay, I have a good idea. You guys, you guys sound like a very fun crowd. So again, a play pattern is how you play with a toy. So I heard the word Barbie doll. So what do you do with your Barbie doll? You dress it up, you pretend play, maybe she's a mom or maybe she's a sister. Um, maybe she's a so, um, so that's an example of squishmallows. Um, those are squishable and huggable and cuddly and people love to collect them. I think my daughter has probably eight in her room right now and she's 17. <laughs> okay, so examples of play patterns for toys, like I said, dress up, pretend play, ride on toys, that's a, that's a play pattern collecting toys. And then if you think about games that you play with your family, board games, outdoor games, um, there are games. games. Yeah, exactly. So these are called play patterns, guys. So the second part of toy math is to combine a, a play pattern, like dress up or whatever it may be, with three things. One is good content. Good content means <clears throat> could be anything from a fun memory, maybe a play date that you had recently. It could be a story that you read or a show. Have you guys done anything memorable and fun in the last last weekend that you you think would be a good um, content? Like maybe you played something. Got a new LOL. Nice. I'm jealous. I would like a new LOL myself. Okay, so, and so you played with the LOL and you had a good time? My, my, favorite, my favorite toy is a koala. Aw, I love koala bears. An OMG doll? Lego. Lego, oh, that, I love that too. So does my. An OMG doll. Nice. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is a trend. So something that's popular right now like food, like different types of food are popular right now. Like sushi is a very big popular thing that people are getting into. Um, different kinds of fancy donuts I've seen. Um, there are famous uh, popular brands. I think someone said um, Squishmallows, again, that's a popular brand, so that's a trend. Um, trendy animals, have you guys seen a lot of sloths out there lately, like in movies and stuff? That's definitely a trend that I've seen. And then the third thing are called senses. Can anyone tell me what the five senses are? Nobody? Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and let you know. I know. Okay, <laughs> let me go back. What are the five senses, my dear? Um, so the five senses are smell, touch, See, taste, and, and hear. Perfect. Awesome job. Thank you. Okay, so, so for the toy math, we're going to take one of these things, either good content, a trend, or senses, and we're going to combine it with that word play pattern. And we'll come up with a good idea. Okay, so I'm going to give you an example so it's not so confusing. An example would be 
The play pattern would be connect four. Are you guys familiar with this? You have to get four in a row. The first person who gets four in a row wins the game. We got like four for my birthday once. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. I got one. You got one. I kind of have one of those. You do. That's a game that I played with when I was your age. So it's been around for a while. Okay. So a good content would be in my, in my memory, I had a really fun water gun fight with my kids last weekend. So if you connect, if you, if you add connect four with a water gun fight, you get a game called connect blast. See the picture all the way to the right. So in this idea, the, um, you, you connect the dots using water guns or um, these little air pistols to knock them um, into Is that a real game? It is. Can you believe that? I've never heard of it until I, I just looked it up today because I was trying to think of a good idea and it actually exists. Okay, so the second example, the second example is, okay, so the play pattern would be a ride on toy. A trend would be sushi. Does anyone like sushi? No, nobody. I, I love, love sushi. You love sushi? Okay, I do too. So if you combine the ride on toy. I like sushi. I love sushi. So this idea will give you a sushi skateboard. Is that actually <laughs> a real thing? No, <laughs> it's just a fun idea. I love it. That is a crazy idea. idea. Right. It is I never tried sushi, but I want sushi. <laughs> I have two sushi. I would like to ride a sushi skateboard. I would ride it. I would just eat it. It's a fun, it's a it's silly idea. It's a, idea. it's a great it's idea. It's beautiful. But whoever invents it. Okay. All right, let's move on to another example. This is the last example. So the play pattern would be a family game. And what we're going to do is we're not going to add a sense. We're going to take away one of your senses. So in this one, we're going to take away sight, eyesight. So you're playing a game when you can't see what you're doing. And that would give you a game similar to googly eyes. Have you guys played I was games? just saying that. <gasps> you were just saying that. Well, I, I love the way you think. I don't like googly eyes, and I don't understand what you're talking about. I don't know what <laughs> so googly eyes is a fun family game. You put um, these special I glasses didn't know on. That was a thing. You can't see a thing. Yeah. And then you have to draw. Um, you have to draw something with these special glasses on. You have to do your best. It's a really fun game. So that, so do you guys understand this toy math? It's pretty easy. All right. Okay. So, um, so let's see. So if you guys are thinking about maybe um, coming up with your own idea, I would love it. Let's see, let's just go back here. If we all as a group, we got a piece of paper and uh, markers or crayons or pencils and okay. start, yeah, start um, thinking about a toy idea and just draw something very simple and it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just looking for some fun ideas. And why don't you guys just take a few minutes and do that. And then we'll see what you guys come up with, okay? I'll be right back. I forgot my toy drawing downstairs. Okay. Does everyone have a piece of paper and a pen and a, some crayons or something? There's yeah. pen all yeah. over my table. Noodles look delicious. Yes. <laughs> oh, pink yeah. crown because I'm going to draw a pink axolotl. Oh, I love, those are very trendy animals, actually, now that you say that. I think it's really interesting that you can't touch them, but they're very cute to look at. And I actually a little dog. Stop, Cameron. Meh, meh, meh. Stop. So I stop. think you have some good ideas over there. 
Next. Yeah, my crown did a backflip. <laughs> it's so funny. So um, just think of when you think of a toy idea, maybe think of stuff that you've played with in the past that maybe you want to make a better version of, or if you can wave a magic wand at your favorite toy, what would you do differently? Um, and toy ideas can be for adults. It can be for different age groups. It can be for boys and girls. So just use your imagination. Oh, what is this? Nikki, I see Lily. Is that a, is that a doll named Lily? <laughs> it's very cute. It is. My name is not Nikki. It's just my mom's name. Oh, got it. What is your name? Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Oh, that's a beautiful name. Was that a picture of a doll that you just designed? Yes, it's a mix between an OMG doll and a baby doll. Oh, do they have anything like that? I haven't seen, um, or are all, all the uh, OMG dolls, like, do they all look like teenagers? <laughs> I have Teenager, no just like dolls, teenager yeah. dolls, basically. Right here. Does anyone else have mine? Yes, please. This is one of them that I have. Oh, wow. Is that an uh, OMG? Her name's Bang Queen. Is that a guitar? It's a piano guitar. Oh, very fun. And she has a cool hat, and she's in the LOL Surprise movie. Fun. Why don't you come up with a toy design? Are you working on a toy design over there? Something yeah. maybe? maybe my, yeah. my idea is, like, going to be something between a mother, maybe, and a teenager. Oh, fun. That reminds me of Barbie dolls. Barbie dolls, to me, some of them were moms and some of them were more my sisters. <laughs> Depending on what they wore and how they acted, right? And my tool, I'm going to put batteries in the part where you hold her and it's going to talk. Oh, very cool. What do you think she'll say? Mm, like baby words, like milk or something. Very cute. I love it. I'm just working on my blue axolotl, rare axolotl in the whole wide world. <laughs> I 50 rare chance, 50,000 rare chance to get in Minecraft. Oh, fun. So how many of you guys love playing video games? Me. Yeah. Me. Do you play with video games me, more? Me, 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 me. You guys I love me. playing Roblox. Yeah. I love playing Minecraft and Roblox. I like Minecraft yeah. and I Roblox. I want to play Roblox at school. Minecraft at school. Yeah. I like to stop Minecraft. Minecraft. So that like is a very facial one. So the pretend no, the, the play, play like pattern Mario Kart. Mario Kart. The play pattern for Minecraft could be building, and then it would be um, a, a video game, right? So building video game. Maybe there could be a dress up video game or a dress up ride on toy. <laughs> All right, how are we Barbie doing Prince mermaid game that you can dress her up in? We're doing great on time. And okay. so girls, if you're um, finishing up some drawings, we would love for you to show if you want to show us, you can show us um, up to the camera. We can see what your your toy ideas are. Ooh, I see Kate's got something there. And you can um, tell us what it is too, one at a time. Yeah, Aubrey, tell me. Um, it is high face and googly eyes combined. Oh, oh that is amazing. I love that. <laughs> what a great idea. Anyone else? Alyssa? My toy cleans oh. up. 
Um, my toy is a kit, a uh, toy kitten that right. has four different houses. It can turn into a regular house, an igloo, a tree house, or an underground house. Oh, that is so fun! So you could pretend it's in different environments. I love that. What a fabulous idea! You guys are naturals at this. Mine is X O U A cat where it can go through a dark. Ooh, that would be fun to to snuggle with at night. That would make me feel safe. And when it's morning, it can it doesn't light up. Yeah, because but you can also play with it. And if you want it to light up, you just push and um, push its heart. Oh, I love that. I love that it has a heart. You know what? Look, my little doggy has a heart on his back. Oh. Yeah. Does anybody else want to share? Is it for all done? Oh, Nikki, did you want to share? I see your hand up. It's a Lego horse that has its own house and it has a bed and it's a ninja horse. And, and it's magic and it can talk. Nice. That sounds like a toy I would not get bored with. I would play with it all day. I actually drew my drawing last night. Oh, you did? Can I see it? Oh, wait, no, you already showed it. That's right. Or did yeah, you I did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Elle, You're separate. I see your hand up, Elle. Do you want to show us? It's a Bobby with rainbow hair. Ooh. Oh, I love it. So that is a play pattern would be pretend play with a trend with rainbow hair because I see people walking around the street with rainbow hair a lot these days. I love that. That would be Thank beautiful. You. Thank you. You're welcome. And Aubrey, you have your Zoom hand up. Did you want to share anything with us? Yes, me. I made a Barbie dream house that goes on the wheels by itself. Ooh. Oh, it goes... It goes on the road by itself? Yep. That is so neat. So then the Barbies could travel all over the place and they would not have to worry about where to sleep because they'd have their house right there. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. When did someone want to have to drive the house? Yeah, that would be a big vehicle, I would think. But how fun would that be? One day okay. on the beach on the mountain. And I see we'll take one more and then we'll move on to our next activity. But Divya, do you have something there? I see your hand raised. Mine is between an OG brother and a, a knight. Wow. Like, she has like her sword right there and her shield right there. Yeah. And to protect herself, she has like some pants right here and a skirt and she has a jacket but I want to add a belt got it oh. right here oh and I'm gonna add like a guitar <laughs> that she plays it it blasts this thing wow. <laughs> she so sounds there. like a super mom huh dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. that's right I wish I had powers that's awesome. You guys have such great imaginations. I'm so impressed. I want to share. Okay, Haley, let's see yours. I'm so loving all these. I made, a, I made a koala hanging on the hanging on the tree. Aw, so is that like a stuffed animal? Yes. Very sweet. Good job. All right. I think we've got everybody. Um, so Joanna, do you want to move on to the next step? And then we'll. Yeah. Um, well, are we breaking questions? out into groups? Yeah. Want to okay. tell them what, what we're going to yeah. do. So 
toy designers, they always rely on people giving them feedback. Feedback means people tell them what they like or what they don't like about the toy. So then the toy designer can go back and make it better. So what we're going to do is we're going to break you up in small groups. And what we want you to do is talk to your friends and share your ideas and see if there's anything your friends think that you could change about it to make it even better. It's just um, feedback. Or you can just tell them you love, love the toy too. And Sydney, did you have a question before we go into breakout rooms? Or maybe, yeah. yeah. Well, um, I'm actually Sydney's brother. I'm Cameron. Hi, Cameron. Uh, I, I would make a game like this <laughs> where you could get more land and get materials and get better loot. Well, you know, I have something special to tell you at the end of this presentation. Are you, are you very interested in the, the video game versus like? Yeah. Toys? Yeah. Okay. Well, I would love to talk to you about things you might want to think about for your career. Okay. So we're going to move into some rooms and you guys will join the rooms just for about two minutes and you can share your toys and people can give suggestions like i don't know maybe a different color or a different shape or something like that because when you're like joanna said that you know when you're creating a toy you always get some feedback so we'll go into breakout rooms just for a couple of minutes and then we'll come back out have fun guys i'll see you soon Bye. Bye, honey. So are you guys going to switch us? Break breakout break out. There you go. Are you guys going to switch our groups or do we have to? Oops. I think you should be going into rooms now. Oh, okay. Um, first of all, I want to say that I think we have some natural inventors here. I saw some really beautiful ideas. And when you do this, if you were to do this, um, when you grow up and come up with some beautiful ideas, you'd want to pitch it to a toy company, very similar to your cookie pitch. So um, the most important things to include in your pitch is what your toy is, how you play with it. And who plays with it? Is it a, a baby? Is it a preschool boy or a kindergartner girl? Or is it for adults? So those are three main things you want to think about. So I think it would be really awesome if you girls worked on a pitch, your toy pitch, and pretended that your parents worked at a very big toy company. What do you think? Okay, that's far. Yeah. But if anyone would like to. That's good. Yeah. If anyone would like to try and pitch one, do we have time, Katie? Um, we actually are running out of time because okay. um, we want to share something else with all the girls. Okay. Yeah. So very quickly, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about thinking about your future and what kind of interesting job options there are out for you. And if, if you love the idea of being a toy designer, um, there are some colleges that specialize in training people how to be toy designers. Um, so this is going to be something that you can look back on. Hold on here. Sorry, I'm just, so this is something you can share with your parents. There are two amazing colleges, one in California, one in New York City, and I believe there are some toy programs in other parts of the world if, if you happen to be outside of the United States. Um, 
And because there are, there are very few toy design programs, you could also study something called industrial design. And, and what that does is it teaches you how to make products, many different kinds of products, not just toys. So that's a very, very neat thing to study. And uh, there are some, a lot of you, I heard that love video games. And so there are some amazing colleges when you grow up and get a get it just a few years older <laughs> that teach digital toy design. And there are some that I've listed here, Georgia, California, New York City, and they're, they're more and more every day. So it's really just something really fun to think about. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about was the um, every year there is a toy invention challenge that happens uh, with uh, a group of um, a group called People of Play and they're in Chicago and it's only for kids. So if you come up with a really, really good pitch, a really good idea, you can actually um, pitch it to some of the biggest toy companies in the industry. So what do you girls think about that? Does that sound exciting? <laughs>